This is the snowy northern town of Cyrodiil, Bruma. You might notice things look a little bit different around here, and that's because today's tour takes place in the Skyrim mod, Beyond Skyrim Bruma. I promised the creators of this project that I'd cover this mod in time for Creation Mod Con 2022. More on that later. Much like everything else on my channel, I missed the deadline by quite a lot, but I intend to make good on that promise as I act as your host today, guiding you from hopeless whelp to all-powerful demigod while region locked in Bruma. Of course, without leaving town and trying to uncover as much content as possible in an effort to answer the question. You're revolting. You're going to have to leave. What's going on? As far as I know, he was a good man. No touching the locks. Leave me alone. Mind ah, don't hurt me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I forgot to also mention that we're covering Oblivion as well in this video. It wasn't originally my plan, but something just didn't quite feel right at first leaving it out of this video, and truth be told, it should hold some of the requests for more Oblivion content at bay, so quit giving me crap about it, alright? So yes, today I'm not only going to be showing you how to destroy economies, complete quests, and see how far the engine of Skyrim can go while stuck to the devices of one city, we're doing it in Oblivion as well. That's a bit excessive, don't you think? Let's skip character creation today because we've got a ton to cover. Now, we don't usually talk about the journey to our destination in this series, but because of the stark contrast between the two perspectives, and because I'd like to highlight some of the work by the Beyond Skyrim team, I'll start today by showing you how you can safely get to Bruma and avoid any danger along the way. The road south of Helgen takes you to a border checkpoint, so immediately after getting arrested for illegal border crossing, sentenced to execution for that same border crossing, and promptly escaping that same execution, it's best you show the Imperials who's boss by immediately attempting to illegally border cross again. This border is a restricted entry zone. State your intentions. My intentions are, in short, fuck shit up. You and hundreds of others. You'll either need official papers or some other justification for your passage. I have a YouTube channel, okay? We've got a psychopath. Stop it. Enough. Go. I don't care if I have to go to jail, I'm through the gate. <laughs> okay, not the start we're looking for. Now, this little predicament is something that the experts like to call getting arrested. Luckily, you can avoid this small clerical misunderstanding by running into the nearest fort and getting a job to conduct an interrogation on someone accused of the exact same crime as you. We persuaded him, we threatened him, we even beat him. Are they talking about me? How can I get that damned guy to shut up and comply? Ooh, ooh I can help. I'll just... Swing my hips in a circular motion. That should convince anybody. I can't really say no. All right, all right we got some questions. Let's, let's clear some things up with this guy. We don't know a whole lot about him. I will never break. Never! Interrogation is a useful survival skill, but since you'll likely suck at all three available options here, your best bet is to sneak behind the guard and help the prisoners. Pickpocket! Once you safely acquire the key, you can pop open every cell and introduce yourself to your fellow convicts. Camaraderie is important during a prison escape, so it's best you understand your new teammates. Hello? 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 Hello, hey, how are you? Can I help you? N no, I have all- Question is? While our Skyrim resident is cozying up with his new teammates, let's check in with today's B-plot as they also make an escape from prison. If you want to help, get back <laughs> Yeah, if you want to help, get back there. The only way to save the Emperor is to go back and help him. Okay, all right, I'll go save the Emperor, fine. I can go no further. This... Oh, come on, what the hell was the point of me even coming back here then? <laughs> Okay, combo. I'm already overpowered. I'm already just littered with arrows on my way there. 
Oh, these people are gonna hate when I get to town. The journey to Bruma from this perspective is a bit more straightforward. It's just a straight shot up north. You'll want to stay on your guard, though, as danger can present itself around every corner. This is a holdup. Hand it over or die. Typically used by preteens to shield their awful behavior, this combat tactic, known as being a f***ing pussy, is a strategy you should only employ when in serious danger, or when your antagonistic behavior has led you to being accosted by an adversary. <laughs> Please, I don't have any money. I'm actually broke, though. Times are hard when a robber can't even make an honest living. He walks away. <laughs> we actually got him to walk away. Wow, it worked. Due to your top of the class cowardice, you successfully positioned yourself as so pathetic no bandit would ever assault you. After all that confrontation, take a breather at the Roxy Inn along your way to detox with some patented Oblivion NPC sensory overload. This place is bumping. Why are there so many people here? Goblins around Hello. here not I long ago. Bye. 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 Hello. Bye. What's now or never, friend. Rescue the other prisoners if you want to build up a little entourage to help us get out of here alive. I'm with you. Take the armor back. Take the bow. Shield. Give you some armor. Perhaps you should go get some rest. Does everybody, does anybody else want to say anything about my wellness? Any other comments? Soldiers! Shit, where's my sword? Ah, there we go. Soldiers! On me! We're leaving this place. Don't, don't stop. Wait, you're gonna blow, guys? Don't blow our cover. Okay, all right, fine. Just open fire. Holy sh I'm gonna let you guys take care of it. I gotta be careful, I'm gonna get executed. This is chaotic. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. What is it? Uh-oh. This is bad. I think we got caught, guys. I put my faith in you, stranger. You betrayed that trust. No, 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 no. no. No, it crashed! No! Oh, no! <laughs> Saying goodbye is never easy. It's even harder when the crash man forces you to say goodbye and leave your friends behind. You got this, gang. I really believe in you. Horse. Go, horsey! Escape. <laughs> I'm sorry, friends. Giving emotional advice on loss isn't really my strong suit. How am I supposed to guide you through the potential abandonment of such wonderful people like Bjarni? Prisoner. Prisoner. And... Prisoner, it can be hard to forget their sacrifice. So stop by Snowstone Rest on your way to Bruma to collect yourself, grieve the dead, and realize that at the end of the day, this is still a Bethesda game at heart and doing things your own way seems to irreparably break things in the best way possible. Bjarni, Bjarni, you made it. Okay, all right, all right, all right, okay. Getting clumsy today? You ran into me, dickhead. I gotta say, you'll probably be blown away when stepping foot into the recreated Bruma for the first time. Damn, baby! That looks good. Now you're able to take in the sights with a friend, and it really is something special around here. Everything here just feels like authentic Elder Scrolls. Most expansion projects I've played don't really nail that perfectly imperfect charm that these games have. Don't attack me! I'm on your side! This is the total package. It even comes feature complete with obnoxious children. Stranger, have you seen my dad? Dad's a soldier in the Legion. He's always off with them, serving at some fort up in the mountains. Ooh. Um. Is your dad a dickhead by chance? The interaction, the dialogue, the oftentimes really stupid scenarios that play out. Citizens of Bruma, Talos worship is a crime, and those committing such heresy will be dealt with. There's no one else here. There's no one. Citizens of Bruma, this morning, I took a solid poopy. For the most part, from this point forward, we're staying within the walls of the main city. I feel I'd be doing a disservice to both you, the viewer, and the creators of this project, though, if I didn't share a few of my impressions from the open world. It is incredibly well done. It was just so exciting to explore what felt like a true extension of the main game. Especially when you have quests like the one where you can help an innkeeper give his dog a proper burial. Old Bonius, rest in peace. I still love you. You've truly calmed an old man's soul. Are you clapping? You don't clap at a eulogy, asshole. 
Compliments to the creators aside, you want to become the most powerful person in Bruma, don't you? Well, you have to start small. With plenty of NPCs roaming the streets and every one of them fully voiced, you've got your work cut out for you in terms of who to meet, so I'll make sure to highlight the most important ones as you start to build your reputation in Bruma. Renod Eventoned is a bard you'll encounter at the Gerald View Inn. He stands out from the crowd boasting the illustrious Colovian Fur Helm, a piece of clothing with a very special place in both the hearts of Elder Scrolls fans and Whose Line Is It Anyway fans. Just use your imagination. <laughs> Renod is easy to find, just listen closely for the... He's bad enough at his job that multiple people around town want him stopped at all costs. What if I, <laughs> what if I killed him? No, no, don't kill him. All right, maybe not all costs. You can't kill him. So I don't know, maybe break into his house and insult his entire life's work. Have you ever considered perhaps, now this is just a theory, that you fucking suck. You insolent whelp. You barge into my home and then proceed to insult me. All right, insulting doesn't work, so maybe we try to wait. Walt, hey, hey, stop it! Don't. Quick, he's going to grab a flute. Oh, 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 oh damn, Bjarni! I told you not to kill him, Dad. Just for once, can we have a quest finish normally in this series? This place is filthy and seems to be full of undesirables. <laughs> then go over to the Gerald View if it suits you better. This is the Restful Watchman, and it's not only good for spewing grandpa levels of hate speech at the bartender. There's lots of good work to be found here. Meet Dumrag. He's an orc who's been looking for his kidnapped wife for well over a year now. Without her in his life, Dumrag has had to make friends with an old high school friend of mine whose name rhymes with Dumrag. You'll want to interview several suspects at the castle. They're all pretty uninteresting. You'll just engage in some basic questions, maybe some light snoopery. Don't mind me. God damn it. Your reckless disregard. Do we have to do this? Yeah, I don't have time for this. Do you have time for this? Not what I want on my service record. That's that's what I thought. That's what I thought. Now go be on your way. Halt. If you want the real culprit of this kidnapping, unfortunately you'll have to leave town. That doesn't mean you can't just accuse someone immediately and complete the quest. Sinja Strongmind. I don't even know who Sinja Strongmind is. It's time to end that miserable little woman's games. I want to see the scum that kidnapped my wife. Come here and face me. What's going on here? Admittedly, this ending is really underwhelming when completed under the restriction of never leaving town. Aside from the whole dumb rag murders everyone part. Please have mercy. <laughs> no way! He won? Followed by the dumb rag just ignores consequences and gets away with it scene. What is it? Uh, are you gonna start running or? How did this happen? It wasn't me. I am Marcius Carvain. Viscount Bruma. As I said earlier, I did spend a fair amount of time exploring this mod before locking myself down, and I'd be remiss to not show you the true ending of this quest. Following the boring chit chat with NPCs, you'll come to find out that the real culprit is. Wait, a Breton? Weak willed, soft spoken, magic practicing bosses? This leads you to storming Simon Gautier's mansion isolated in the mountains. Once you've located the secret dungeon entrance, I'll let the rest play out like the soap opera it is. What if his wife divorces him? immediately after completing this quest. It's unfortunate that we have to keep our relationship as secret as we do, but what choice do we have? You sneaky, slimy, slithering bastard here with my wife. She's my dumb rag. She loves me. And save you now, you ignorant son of a- I love him. How dare you forsake me so brazenly for this corrupt, spineless- Enough of this. A tool loves me. She no longer loves you. You must come to terms with that orc. Leave our home and never bother me or her ever again. What do I do? What, what do I do? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. What do I do? <laughs> what do? Uh, okay. Okay. Um. Okay. This isn't my decision. Leave them be. Try to forget they ever existed and rebuild your life. Do as you will. I said I would be a good person. This was supposed to be a character development video. I. I we should, we should, uh, they're two consenting adults. But it looks like he kidnapped her. Maybe it's Stockholm Syndrome. So maybe killing him, uh, it's also chaotic. I, uh, I must fight the urge. Fight the urge. Ah, uh, no, the urge to be chaotic has taken over. No, oh, get away from someone, you blood. <laughs> well, Quick, we should take her out as well. I'm not sure what to do. <laughs> A glorious battle. Yes, a, a very glorious what war. What have I done? I just killed my wife. Technically, I killed her. 
Oh. <laughs> All right, see you later. <laughs> I thought he just completely disappeared. the hell are what i have a cellmate here how the f did you end up in jail already how do you do hey come on now you're free to go go come on oh no 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 officer it was a prank please spare a coin for the infirm no you think i forgot about our little science project on the side oh no no he is far too dear to me he's been making himself all sorts of comfortable while our skyrim resident disappoints children and murders bad musicians it feels fitting to start off in this exact jail cell because the way things are about to go i'm gonna need you to be really comfortable with spending a lot of time here i mean a lot of time. Much like our Skyrim resident, this little guy needs to find himself some work to get his feet off the ground. And it starts with the rumor that someone in town has met an unfortunate end. You're going to have to leave. This is a crime scene. I thought I was out of the game, Rook. I thought that I wouldn't be back investigating again after what went down in Windhelm. I thought it'd be, hey baby, different this time. Never is in this line of work, kid. It was noon that day. Weather was chilly. If I'd encountered the murderer then and there, I could have used my nipples in self-defense. Heard a rumor that someone in town was killed. Did you hear about Braden Lillian? Widow found the body. I was greeted on scene with disdain for my presence. No one other than ourselves, our Reynal Dreyfus, will be allowed access. Without permission from guards on duty, it was up to me to improvise my investigation. Repeated tampering with Braden's corpse is a crime and will alert the authorities. Well now, <laughs> what do we have here? It went about as you could expect. It's ridiculous. Can you believe this place? It's so angry. It just makes me want to... <clears throat> yeah, prison. Prison. Whoa. Knuckle dusting in prison isn't a good way to get answers, though. It's important on the job to keep your cool, even when witnesses aren't cooperating. Please leave me be. Hey! Break the law on my watch. <laughs> Once I had learned that punching a grieving widow directly in the face carried a smaller charge than pressing the E key, I knew I could get some preliminary questioning in. Ma'am, I'm doing an investigation here, and I just need to clarify. This is your dead husband, correct? This, this dead body right here, this not breathing anymore, human, lacking life, no more laughter or meals or memories. I, I'm sorry. I can't right now. Looks like the only way they'll let me in on this investigation is with a bribe, and I'm better suited to tell you how to acquire currency, so sorry, Noir bit me, you're back on the bench. You need cash to bribe the guards to let you in on this investigation, so, I don't know, maybe the Fighters Guild is hiring. If you're interested, see Velena Danton in Coral, or Azan in Anvil, or Burz Grokash in Shadenhall. Mmm, that's not gonna work. Luckily, they aren't hiring in this town, and since guilds are for fucking nerds, you can make money the cool way by sifting through the pockets and belongings of strangers. Someone's gotta have something I can steal. It's gotta be easy to just find some cash. Three gold. Got it. We got it, we got it, we got it. One more coin, and I can get a pair of shoes. Yeah, cry to somebody else about it. I'm poor too, man. Damn it, why do all of the homeless people not have any money? They're all broke. And they're all incredibly vigilant of my dastardly deeds. Okay, here we go. We can get behind him. Yes, 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 yes. Red. <laughs> really? Really? I'm at my lowest point in this series, guys. I'm stealing bread from homeless people. Ah, pity, sir. I got nothing to eat. Liar. You had a bread loaf. Now you have nothing. But that was a lie because you didn't think you had nothing. You knew in that moment that you didn't have nothing, but you thought you had something, so you're lying. By that logic, you deserve to have your bread stolen because liars in this city don't get to eat. Break the law on my watch, will you? There's two lettuce in there. Serve my sense. Athletic skill decreased by one. Oh, man. At least I got my lettuce back. Oh, wait a minute. I get extra pairs of clothes. <gasps> Ladies and gentlemen, we have just discovered our way to make money in town. It's so easy. Go ahead. Well now. Didn't you learn in school that crime pays? You didn't, huh? 
Well, that's because your education was a farce, okay? And today's lesson in economics should shed some new light on it all for you. You see, assault in oblivion carries a charge of one day in jail. It also comes with a pair of complimentary pants, shoes, and a free t-shirt, all valued at one coin apiece. There's another wrinkle to this equation, though. The guard posted right here, at this exact location, well, he must have a soft spot for you because he'll be waiting with bated breath every time your sentence is over, looking forward to the inevitable meeting between your fist and his face. Okay, here's the procedure. Ha! Help! Stop! Ah! Hey, come on! Stop! Oh, I hope you know what you're doing. Stop! Since you lack the funds to pay the court, you must now serve on your sentence. Stop! This is the part where you fall down and stop! Maybe hit him with a sneak attack? <laughs> well, now. What, what is that? You're getting on my nerves. <laughs> Well, <laughs> what? He sounds angry, but I think he might enjoy this. Hurry up! Don't worry, I'm going as fast as I can, dick! Hey! Come on, <laughs> my. Did I get away with it? Did, did I get away with it? Tell me I got away with it. No, no, no! Stop! It looks like you took your foreplay a bit too far with the guard outside, but 10 days in jail and a few skill points are no price compared to an entire set of official Bruma Guard merchandise. Ah, uh, finally, I get to join the guard. <laughs> I worked so hard at being a criminal, they just decided to enlist me. Oh, hey, look! Look! What is it? They've replaced him. <laughs> he's already he's already on shift. You know about this bond. Do you know where you're standing? The significance of it? This is this is where I work. <laughs> this is my position. I've rightfully earned it. The full set of guards armor plus the bow and longsword came out to about 185 gold for me. Add in all the thrift store clothes for each trip to jail, and that's another 60 gold on top of that. I have 21 sh how many times did I go to jail? <laughs> 21 shirts. This is more than enough to bribe your way into the investigation. Might as well rest yourself up so you can be up early and ready for a long day of investigation. You sleep rather soundly for a murderer. I am Lucian Lachance. You are a cold-blooded killer, capable of taking life without mercy or remorse. Ugh, not this guy again. Making friends in Bruma, it's not exactly an easy task. Oh look, an infant. How quaint. Would it kill people here just to have some spontaneity for once? <laughs> no, don't do the dances again. No, it's gotta be all hang up this propaganda for our club and shake down my customers I scammed into buying my shitty magical items and please help us, we can't figure out why zombies are teleporting into our enclave of nerds. Oh shit, oh shit, we're under attack. Wow, calm down, you guys are gonna blow up the entire building, Jesus Christ! There's even a clearly didn't get invited to the party guy hanging out at the restful watchman who wants to see the whole place shut down via what I think is the first occurrence of voicemail ever in the Elder Scrolls series. I wanted the proprietor to land in hot water with our dear guard captain. He deserves it, no? Take this, it's a very special memory gem. And this particular one recorded everything that happened in the tavern that night. Irrefutable evidence. I know. Why don't we treat him to a little show of our favorite lusty Argonian maid? Hey, darling. I heard you wanted a date with Lifzertail. Ariel, give me strength. Cease and desist. I demand that you cease and desist at once, you cretinous lizard woman. Stop jiggling about. Maybe he'll have better luck using his voicemail recordings for his upcoming mixtape instead. Ariel, give me strength. Cease and desist. Ha ha ha. Yeah. Cease and desist at once, you cretinous lizard woman. Bad bitch be The bottom line is, people suck. And even though there's no shortage of things to do once you're in Bruma, do you really want to be everyone's errand boy? Or are you ready to be your own boss and start a legitimate enterprise? It's common knowledge that starting a successful business is the best way to make friends. Do you think Steve Jobs had any real friends until he invented Xbox? 
No, but the second he did, bam, he's hanging out with Dwayne Johnson. If you're going to be hanging out with Dwayne Johnson, you're going to need a good product, something no one else is making, or an improvement upon something that already exists. A rare commodity, maybe something that's gone out of style and needs to return to the mainstream. You know how Stranger Things brought Kate Bush back into the mainstream? You're going to do that, but with Colovian Fur Helms by creating a new model, an upgrade, one that the world isn't quite ready for. If I still have your attention during the second economics lesson of the day for no extra charge, be sure to tip your professor by hitting that little thumbs up icon on your screen. Because fuck me, this video took a long time to make. Cringy engagement tactics aside, using the pocket change you've acquired from any of the various jobs I've covered, or just spending a few hours chopping wood if you're a masochist. What's the thing called in the background that does like the wow, wow, those noises? You should have at least a few hundred gold, but let's use 1,000 as our starting value to make the math a bit easier. We'll be handling economics from this perspective in three phases. You'll want to follow along exactly as I do because… shut up, I'm the teacher here. I wouldn't have been hired if I was wrong about anything. First things first, you are only allowed to craft Colovian fur helms. None of this, but you can craft daggers for faster XP nonsense. You want to make the best Colovian fur helm? Well, in order to have one model of Colovian fur stand out among the rest, you need to flood the market with inferior product while also trying to make a profit on it. This first lesson assumes you've completed the prerequisites of having at least one perk point in the speech skill tree, so get to studying if you haven't yet. When taking a look at crafting the Colovian fur helm, its recipe is fairly simple, two leather and two leather strips. You should know by now that one leather breaks down into four leather strips, so the cost of each helmet is equal to two and a half leather. Leather can be acquired from Cetus Perusius at Icewind Traders, but you can't just go buying any kind of leather willy-nilly. At this point in your venture, you should only be worried about profit, because the most important rule in business is FUCK YEAH MORE MONEY! Before you buy leather, make sure to make your daily offering to a town beggar and receive the bonus that comes from that. Pretending to care about those less fortunate than you is a staple of running a successful business. Cowhide sells for 27 gold, it also breaks down into 3 leather, or 1.2 Colovian fur helmets, meaning our cost per helmet is roughly 22.5 gold per helmet. Compare this to deer hide. It costs the same, but only breaks down into 2 leather, costing you 33.75 gold for each crafted helmet. This equation only gets worse as you move into bear pelts or saber cat pelts. I've shown off the quick save, punch, and quick load method for getting a vendor's inventory to reset a few times now. No, I don't see it as an exploit really because it's just speeding up an already existing process in game, but even if I did consider it an exploit, I guess I'd be a bad businessman to ignore it. So you've collected a bunch of leather, you've broken it down, you've crafted a handful of helmets, and you're ready for your first sale. 26. We're in the green, baby. We're profiting. It's not much, but profit is profit. But that's okay. That's okay. You're officially a small business owner now, which means you can spam post about your independent lifestyle all across social media. This is almost assured to make that bitch Becky you went to high school with jealous. That's right, Becky. Fuck you. I didn't even want to go to prom anyway. Shortly after starting your Sigma grind set, you'll start to notice old friends and acquaintances you haven't heard from in years saying things like, Dude, how you been, man? Or, oh my gosh, it's so cool that you build cone-shaped hat thingies. There's also the variety of groupie who just shows up out of nowhere one day and follows you around. Uh, what's that thing I said about these games always breaking in the best way possible? Where are you? And I'm so Perhaps you should go get some rest. Oh my god, no, I have to babysit another idiot? Stop! Why let this nightmare end? Stop following me. You're out of prison. You're free. Go! Why is this happening? <laughs> no, no, this was not part of the plan. You agreed to stay away. Branding is a business word I heard once, and now that you have some unpaid labor, I mean friends, you can use them to help spread the message of your new fashion trend by getting a consistent look throughout your group. Why haven't I given my followers their hats? Am I just step? Fuck you. Hello. Here's what I have. There you go. No, 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 no. Here's what I have. No, no, you're supposed to put it on. You won't put it on. You'll put it on, right, Bjarni? Oh, thank God, Bjarni, uh -huh. you look incredible. Why won't you wear the hat? What's wrong with the hat? I think it looks fine. Give me the hat back. You don't deserve to wear the hat. Uh-uh. 
She won't wear the hat, Jerry. I can't do it. <laughs> so, how could she not wear the hat? I don't know. Who doesn't wear the hat? She doesn't wear the hat. That's who. <laughs> KPI, agile, deliverables. These are all business terms that I definitely know and can describe fully. All right, everybody, line up for your new uniforms. All right, put on your uniform. You can wear green because you are green. He's not going to wear it. He's not going to wear the uniform. Goodbye. He's not wearing the uniform. Bjarni, what the fuck are we supposed to do, Bjarni? He's not putting on the uniform. Take him out, Bjarni. He must be working for a rival operation. He's clearly not down for the Kolovian fur cause. You gonna start up a rival business? You gonna start selling leather helmets? Yeah, no, not on my streets. Now that's what I call killer fashion. Speaking of killing. You are a cold-blooded killer, capable of taking life without mercy or remorse. The Night Mother has been watching, and she is most pleased. Oh, obviously she's pleased with my methods. All asses beware. <laughs> beware thine ass crack. <laughs> Your path is clear. Crotch! Don't place Oh, oh wow, you do a lot of damage. Okay, get in there. <laughs> get away from me. Help! Hello! No, don't be so cordial. There's an invisible man attacking me. Am I supposed to be impressed? Thank you, officer. Finally, you guys are doing something right. Yeah. You fall down and no. No. Oh. 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 So you got some gold in your pocket, but now you also have a really decent stealth suit with some awesome buffs. Unfortunately, after following up with the investigation, that's still somehow just two guards standing around in one room after you've spent over 30 days in jail, the trail of the real killer takes you outside of Bruma. Thank you for your time, ma'am. Stop right there! However, there is one mystery left within this city that hasn't exactly been solved yet. Poor Anora. Seems her boyfriend Joranda has stolen some gold from her and left her penniless. Pop over to Arnora's house and you'll be able to see right away that she's really upset. Can't you see that I'm upset? I would be too if whatever crime my boyfriend committed was apparently worse than 21 consecutive assaults and two murders. And you think I'm going to talk to you about my ex-lover? I suppose I can trust you with this information. Arnora relays a tale containing so much gaslight that a match would burst her house into flames. Against my will, I'd been dragged all over Cyrodiil helping him commit petty crimes. According to her, Jorunder took their crime spree to the next level. And in the midst of the chaos, Jorunda killed a guard. <gasps> How dare he? Skill-based matchmaking caught up to him, he was placed in jail, but he stashed their gold beforehand and now resides in prison. Convince him to tell you where the gold is and then we split it. This is a great opportunity for you to visit the prison from a new angle. You'll learn all about the rules and regulations of prison, which should assist you on your next sentence. Don't get too close to the prisoners. I'm... Don't worry. There's only one, by the way. You don't have to use the plural. I haven't got all day. Well, maybe I'll just make you wait here. Oh, no. Am I getting arrested by this guy? Prisoners may not accept gifts. I don't plan on... Oh, my God, I am. No way. I haven't got all the prisoners day. may Salute. not accept Welcome. gifts. Please say your piece. Hey, I morons. I'm, I got to talk to None the prisoner over here. <laughs> prisoners may stop. not touch stop. Stop. Gifts. stop, stop, leave me alone. Don't get too close to the prisoners. prisoners. May not accept gifts. <laughs> Get too close to the prisoners. No touching the locks. Prisoners may not accept prisoners may no not touching accept the locks. gifts. I don't know who you are, nor do I care. Prisoners. All I know is that I want you to leave. If you need a moment of sadness to yourself, I understand. Spending 30 days within five feet of someone and they don't even know your name? I just, it hurts. And I get it. You'll have to play ball in order to get information from Jorender, however, and by now I think you know the drill. Sounds like the only way to get him to talk is by getting arrested. Oh, I've been wanting to do this for like an hour straight. Hey, help! By the way, the guards tossed you in here. I can see you're no friend of theirs. Once back in jail, you'll learn Jorunder isn't just a bad friend for ignoring the past month of companionship you shared. As a career thief, the man is just a hypocrite. Put that back, you worthless thief. <laughs> Look, you horse's ass. I never trusted city guardsmen. Suit yourself. Enjoy your stay. Wait, 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 I want to talk to you. I don't talk to inmates. Now shut up. Liar, you were just having a conversation with one. I was betrayed. 
I'm in here and Arnora's out there, living in my house. In the process, Arnora killed a guard. I want Arnora dead. That's right, I said dead. Ah, there you are, Arnora. Welcome back to the world, convict. <laughs> Look at us, our first date. This is going so well. Welcome <sighs> back to the world, convict. <laughs> you already told that joke. All right, this date is over. I'm breaking up with you. You kill me here and now, and as far as the town guard is concerned, it's a crime. It's legal. This is a legal engagement, officers. It's a consensual battle. After heroically pummeling Arnora's face into an unrecognizable mess and ending her crime spree, you may start to feel an overwhelming sense of honor flowing throughout your body on your way to deliver the good news to Jerunder. Stop right there! Ah, there it is. Current bounty one. Don't worry about getting in trouble for this either. The town guard was more worried about the cup I accidentally stole from Arnora rather than my selfless act of rearranging her face. You might think you are, but let me tell you, you are not getting on the guard's good side. I didn't start the fight. I mean... I guess I know. May Jesus not accept Christ. gifts. I understand that. I am aware of the rule. God damn. Oh, great, great. Now I'm going to. Oh, great, great. Stop right there, oh my criminal God. Scum. Oh, my God. Oh, my Grace God. the law. <laughs> well, you did your part of the bargain. Now I'll do mine. The gold is buried outside the walls of Bruma. Let's see. Bad friend, toxic relationship, buried the gold outside of your allowed plate zone, and he doesn't even appear to know that he could just click the bed and be out of jail in an instant. Maybe it's time to finally do Bruma a good deed. Wait a minute. Did the guard just... He did. Maybe... Maybe you actually are getting on the guard's good side. Maybe this is your redemption arc. It's gonna be the most successful jail escape I've ever had. I'm free! Oh, I'm screwed! Oh my god, oh my god, how have I not been caught? No way. What? Oh, oh, oh! Oh my god, this is terrifying! Looks like they don't mind. Hello, officers. Top of the morning to you. I think we're free to go. I've never seen that happen. I actually broke out of jail. Is this what honor and respect feel like? All you had to do was punch out your cellmate? I mean, I did that earlier in the video for a bit, but now this is real. He's dead. This this feels like the biggest win in this series so far. I'm never the good guy, but maybe I should be. Maybe I should use my knowledge and platform to teach people to be good, to be honorable, to be respect. The Countess is in attendance. Please observe proper etiquette. But we interrupt today's public education broadcasting with an announcement from today's sponsor. Bitch! That's the Bruma Colobian Hat Company. Those aren't even the letters. Bitch. I've just shown you an example of brilliant marketing. If you stick with this program, you'll eventually be able to create a masterpiece of customer acquisition just like this. In the first chapter of this program, you learned how to get your business off the ground, suit up your team, and dispel dissidents from your organization. Since our last meeting, a lot has gotten done around here, including increased profits, faster workflow, word of mouth advertising. Are you looking for my husband, Ralgar? He's probably out hunting or something. No. I'm only looking for profit, ma'am. You may have even discovered some new employees ready to help you out. What? No, 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 no. <laughs> what are you doing here? We already did. Wow, two more friends from our past have mysteriously crawled out of nowhere. Hmm, I bet it's all that success you're having, isn't it? People seem to be really digging your new product. Just because you can't see them wearing it around town doesn't mean that it isn't successful. In phase two, you should ideally be spending roughly 20 gold per hat versus the 22 and a half we spent in phase one. You should also be selling them for around 29 gold, which is gonna yield $9 profit per hat versus the three and a half earlier, which is a clear sign of increasing demand. Robinhood, options trading. As you perfect the process of creating artesian headwear, new strategies will fall in your lap, like creating a low effort iteration on an already popular product but slamming the word fine or 14 pro max in the title this new model will have customers raving until you train a little bit more then you can hit them with the superior exquisite flawless 
This is sustainable until you realize that innovation is only getting more difficult. You'll need some extra funding to speed this process up. What in oblivion are you doing back here? What in oblivion are you doing in your default pose? This is terrifying. So you found the local fence. Don't worry, this part is completely ethical. Watch it, or I'm liable to shove something big down your throat until you- Whoa, 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 what the fuck is that? that that's like weird, that's so out of, out of place. What do you do? What? You better watch it, or I'll- assault you with my wiener. The fence in town of course accepts stolen goods for sale, so to source more funding for your venture, hit the castle because fuck them. They're royalty, right? They won't miss a necklace or two. Okay, it's only a five gold bounty. Excuse me? <laughs> Excuse me, officer, I need to take this ring? You've broken imperial law. I don't have time for this. Not what I want on my service record. Go turn yourself into some other guard. All right, no problem. Thank you, ma'am. All right, you guys break it up. Break it up. We're innocent. You don't have to keep. Okay, all right. Ran away. Best choice you've ever made. Okay, all right, we're free. <laughs> we're free. Shit, I dropped the ring though. Okay, got it. With the extra funding from a successful heist, you can be more flexible and start crafting a mass amount of helmets at a loss in exchange for some experience. As you inch closer and closer to creating the greatest Colovian fur helm in existence, you may be wondering why I haven't mentioned enchanting. That's pretty good for making powerful equipment, right? It is. It's also not possible in Bruma without leaving town. There's only one enchanting table in the city of Bruma, and it can't be accessed unless you complete the quest that the Walmart Mages Guild offers you. It just sits there in the corner and stares at you menacingly, taunting you. Anyway, we're getting close to having this hat in its final form, but before we get there, let's finish things up on the other end. I don't really have a clever transition here. You are now an associate of the Mages Guild. Ah, I mean, I know I said it felt good to be a good guy now, but I never said to throw in with these nerds. You do me a small favor and I'll happily send along a glowing recommendation. This is Jean, and she's in charge of the local Bruma Mages Guild. She's what stands between you and getting your little gold star. She's also really bad at adult babysitting. If you can find Jaskar, I'll write the recommendation immediately. No one here has seen him in days. Ask around the guild a little bit until... You want to find Jaskar? If you can look past the incredibly strange inflection on that question, Volonaro begins to let you in on a plot to prank Jean. Whatever you do. You can't tell Jean about it. All right, let me know when you're done with that little talk. Jean, forget that entire conversation, okay? You did not hear a lick of that. You'll steal a book from her quarters, return to Volanaro, and... That was easy. Oh, please don't be mad. We were just having some fun. Oh, just having some fun. Yeah, just like all bullies are. Just having some fun, bro. Just chill out, dude. We were only kidding. It's just a prank, bro. Calm down. Sorry, dude. Didn't know your dad was arrested at Walmart for blowing spunk on a G.I. Joe. It's the same thing every time with these types. But you're a good guy. And good guys respond to bullies in only one way. Stop right there, criminal scum! <laughs> Dude, how the oh, fuck did he get in here so quickly? Man, being a good guy sucks. Is there any final goal I can find here? Anything of note worth chasing? I've been looking for just the right owner for a special home I have. Why, of course. The house. Property. You need to buy the house in Bruma. I'd prefer to only discuss the property with serious buyers. Don't insult me like that. I am very serious, okay? I just have to... I appreciate the Countess and her short memory for getting that, you know, little right hook. But where the hell are you gonna get 10,000 gold? Ha! Help! Stop! Ah, that's right, that's right. Don't you love it when things come full circle like that? Stop! Performing the help stop maneuver over and over again will yield unlimited money. Unlimited guards. It also brings with it unlimited skill decreases so you can live that immersive life of a talentless hack whose only redeeming quality is that they have lots of money. As your skills decrease, so does your damage output. You can even things out a little bit by lowering the difficulty, using the occasionally summoned scamp in the mage's guild entrance. <laughs> Oh my god, that is ridiculous. Holy, that's exactly what I was looking for. Or if you're a complete moron like me, spending several hours grinding skills, levels, and money so I could rebuy all the conjuration levels I lost while in prison in order to summon my own scamps. You've got knowledge. Knowledge. <laughs> knowledge. Pay attention. I like how he just has to say knowledge, and I'm immediately Enough. trained. I don't recommend this strategy at all. <laughs> Damn, this little fucker can hit. 
Yo, relax, relax. Hey, go easy on me, man. Full transparency, I did use alchemy to make some money, but overall, taking out guards one after another after another was a way more sufficient strategy for raising money. They just kept spawning, and a new guard would replace them. They all seemed joyous to take part in the death cult. They'll even start greeting you with unique dialogue when you reach a certain point. Stop, criminal. I've heard of you. It only took around 600 days and over 50 guard murders to finally get some recognition around here. But who's keeping count, right? I think my favorite little nugget personally out of all this incredibly useless information I've given you today is that even if you go on an absolute rampage throughout town... Have pity, sir. I got nothing to... <laughs> Oh my god, they keep paralyzing me. This ends They're all screaming about it. Take whatever you want. Oh shit, what a Alright, come on, you wanna battle me? You're the leader of the guard. He ran away. <laughs> He's given up. All that carnage. Dead bodies everywhere. People crying. Children screaming. There aren't children in Oblivion, but you get the point. And Jerunder still won't be released from jail before you are. <laughs> Apparently whatever he did is worse than genocide. We've touched on every quest, we've met lots of folks, and poked a lot of butts, but if you follow this guide step by step, you are now officially a homeowner. I'm gonna go to my house. I'm going home. Can I lock the door? <laughs> I think I've actually broken the game. <laughs> I think I have officially broken Oblivion. I think I'm just stuck in my house now forever. Oh, <gasps> no. Look, <laughs> I corrupted the save. <laughs> we pushed the game too far. <laughs> We've broken Bruma to the point where it just <laughs> won't let us play. Continue from your last save game. The save game is corrupt. <laughs> The only way that the Bruma Guard could stop me <laughs> was to just delete the save. Where does this guy get off? I mean, a corrupted save as he completes his final goal? I can't top that. I've been over here dragging out this crafting slash crypto influencer storyline because I ran out of entertaining quests 20 minutes ago. <sighs> I didn't want to do this, but you forced my hand. I always avoid alchemy in this series, but I think you'll like what I'm about to show you. By now you've reached max level smithing, so you can upgrade your hat's operating system as much as possible without any extra help. I'm going to show you how you can get some extra help though. The more your character levels up, the more likely the merchants are to carry enchanted jewelry boosting both your barter and smithing abilities. The local alchemist will also occasionally carry blacksmithing potions providing another boost to your final product. In the effort of saving time, getting these to drop both at the highest level I could and completing a full set for every relevant skill took an insane amount of time. And money. More than you'll get by just crafting hats. An important part of every business is knowing when to sell out, which is why I want to thank today's sponsor, Manscaped. Sadly, the alchemist doesn't carry ingredients to make your own broken blacksmithing potions, which would have really sent this process into space. She does carry a few ingredients critical to this equation, though. The first two ingredients are red flax and yellow flax. These are ingredients exclusive to Beyond Skyrim Bruma, and you do have an alchemy table available for use right next to the enchanting table that you're not allowed to use. Thank you, knockoff mages guild. I'm gonna just shut up and show you how broken these two ingredients are. This was the moment that I realized I was developing a flip phone in what is an iPhone market. For each of these potions you sell, or hell, just give away to save time, you'll grant yourself almost an entire speech level for free, for just handing out potions. So why'd I save this till the end? To be honest, I accidentally stumbled upon it when I was testing things out, and like I said, I like to avoid alchemy in these videos, but when I found out that Beyond Skyrim added a brand new potion with a brand new effect, I had to test it out to the max. <laughs> this is, I'm just gliding around town at this point. <laughs> I want to have a clean run around town. Go. Woo! Woo! Oh, this is way too fun. 
It's the Bruma circuit. <laughs> Get out of my way. <laughs> Excuse me. Sorry, officer. Record time completion of the Bruma sprint. Br Bruma sprint. Get out of the way, I'm racing here. You've got speech and smithing maxed out, unlimited access to funds, unlimited access to supply, and unlimited access to just keep fishing for all the enchanted gear your heart desires. So what was my final tally? I'm sure there's better equipment I could have found. Maybe I could have done better, but using all the enchanted gear I could and throwing a blacksmith's draft if you're Irish, draft if you're American into the mix, the best I came up with was bringing the price per hat all the way down to 10.8 gold on average, with a selling price of 58 gold, which is about 48 profit. A bit underwhelming, I must admit, but if you spend the extra one leather, one leather is all it costs to upgrade this bad boy, you're looking at an optimal price per hat of 15.1 gold that sells for an absolutely absurd 115 gold, meaning you're going to 7x your money every single time. Not nearly as cool as selling 5,000 gold potions, but you know what? We came here to make the best Colovian fur helm ever and I think I got there. So there you have it, the premier model of Colovian Fur Helm, worshipped by Elder Scrolls fans for over two decades. I am a bit disappointed in the hat's final stats I was able to muster up without enchantment, so let's just put this thing to the survival test. Please, have mercy. <laughs> no way, he won? I'm placing you under arrest. Please. Why am I the one that gets arrested? He killed four guards. All I did was punch three and I only punched two of them hard. Oh, quick, Bjarni, put him down. Put this bastard down. Okay, not like, you didn't have to get that aggressive. Excuse me. Nearly invincible psychopath. Oh, damn it. Get out of here, I need to craft. Hold on, this is a great opportunity, everybody. You know why? To use our speed potion of escape. The Conehead Bandits. Jesus, Bjarni. Feeling clumsy today? A little bit. There you go, Bjarni. You handle it for a bit. And as long as I don't sprint, I can stay alive forever. My magic will definitely recharge fast enough to just heal up and escape them. <laughs> just fire around real quick. This is gonna be tough. I should be able to get out of here though. Stenar, I need you to fight me. Excuse me, everybody. Come on outside. Let's bring the train out here. Here. Come on. <laughs> I know there's going to be quite a few people in this pub, so we're going to have to pick them up. Oh, yep. Yeah. It's a little bit of a tight squeeze. Excuse me, everybody. Oh my god. No! How did, <laughs> how did that happen? What's the matter? Going to run home to the mother? Don't, again, why do you always have to bring my mom into this? She has no interest in Skyrim. Ah, you. You're one of those nerds. Okay, yeah, they're all mad. Oh god, they can paralyze me. Wait, I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> Wait, stop it. You're gonna injure everybody else in here. Although everyone's kind of frozen. They're not attacking. They're fighting with honor. All right, that, that, okay, all right, now that, that's out of control. Oh no, oh no, <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Gotta be a way I can get myself up onto the wall itself without leaving town and forever claim victory over this. God, it is hard to move. I keep just running into things. Okay, if I jump and then move forward, but if I get up here, oh, hold, oh, hold, hold on, we got something here. No, oh, my spear! Oh, no, I ran out of speed! Excuse me, excuse me. All right, relax, everybody. Jesus, that's quick, but I'm getting there. We're fairly close. No, you can't paralyze me on the roof. This is my safe spot. I can do this. Woo, that was close. See, I can even dodge. This is all right. This is not all right. Ooh, all right. Start up here. We got it, I'm on. <laughs> yes, I'm on the wall. It's over. I have claimed victory. Hey everybody, uh, I know it's been a long time since I've uploaded. This was a massive project. Uh, it was incredibly overwhelming a lot of times. And even still, I look back and watch it and I kind of cringe at a few parts. I'm like, eh, probably could have done that better. But you know, it is what it is. I had a lot of fun with it. 
I hope you enjoyed watching it. Thank you for your patience and for supporting the channel. I cannot wait to get back to streaming immediately after this video uploads. We'll be recording something over there. You know where to find me. I want to say thank you to the Beyond Skyrim team for even suggesting this idea originally to me. They reached out several months ago, kind of included that at the beginning of the video. Um, they're an awesome team. They do incredible work. Um, and if you're interested in any of their projects, I'm going to leave a lot of that link down below. They have a lot of streams and videos and coverage of their progress on a lot of the Beyond Skyrim work. So I'll leave that link down below. Really awesome stuff. Definitely suggest you checking it out. If the projects they're working on now are anywhere even close to the same quality as Beyond Skyrim Bruma, I'm there on day one. Like I said in the video, it is as authentic Elder Scrolls as it gets, and I really suggest anybody try them out. I never really do this much or plug my socials or anything, but I have been kind of AWOL from the YouTube channel for a while, so if you do want to keep up to date and follow along with me outside of the channel, Twitter or Discord are probably the best places to do that. I have both of those linked in the description of all my videos, um, so this is me encouraging you to follow me over there. Before I go, I also wanted to bring up one other kind of important topic that I've been asked about quite a lot over the last 11 months, which is insane to think I've been doing this as a job for 11 months. Uh, YouTube is still part time for me. I will have more details on that very soon. Oh, one other thing. This video is going out on Veterans Day. I know Veterans Day is pretty big in the United States. Um, I know there's there's I'm pretty sure November 11th is Veterans Day for other countries as well. God, it's also Skyrim's birthday again, and Starfield was supposed to come out today. This is the worst Veterans Day ever. <laughs> um, anybody out there who watches my channel, who is a veteran, uh, wherever you are, thank you for your service. Um, it's very personal to my family and I, those who have served and their experiences. Um, so thank you. I think that's all I got. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, I'm probably just gonna end this abruptly or with some kind of more juve text. It'll probably be right here, I think. Oh, the microphone's blocking it. Stop! Oh, I hope you know what you're doing. Stop! Since you lack the funds to pay the court, you must now serve on your sentence.